In this video, we'll take a look at how we can take this boring map into a site plan with analysis in rayon design. So let's get started. Right here, you can see I have just the bare lines of the map. Uh, very boring this is just a random part on the city and i chose this site as the site that we will do uh stat analysis so basically we have blocks in rayon design which is a tool where you can use it online it's completely web-based so you do not need to install anything and it already has pre-made blocks like this for you ready to use so first of all you can see that uh, all of the lines have the same weight and the area which we will analyze or kind of deal with is the one right here so first of all i want to make sure that i put the right emphasis on this part and in order to do that we are going to be able to use some hatches that rayon design actually offers so we will choose the fill right here and we can go to fill and then we can already use hatches which are pre-made for us easy to use and we can go for something like this as you can see we can also go ahead and transform it and increase the scale to something like nine for example that way it is at least a tiny bit visible this is still too little so let's go for 60 uh, and i think something like this works fine we can also change the angle and then we can also make it like a light red color just to emphasize this further and then we can also use something like this just to add an extra uh, step in terms of uh, which place we are taking a look at. Now, what we can also do is I'm going to go ahead and select the lines, which basically show where the road is. I'm gonna select them one by one, just with one click, and we are going to go ahead and change the weight on these, uh, just so we can kind of put some more emphasis on where the road is so for example if we just choose these ones we can detach the style from these that way we do not change all of them at once and then we can go ahead and change the stroke scale do something like 400 and make this four millimeters and as you can see now this has more emphasis we can make these even bigger uh 750 uh one to uh 1500 if you want to uh but this may be too much uh or we can also leave it like this so let me just select all of these at once and then uh, what I will do as well is maybe just make the color of it uh, a bit lighter because uh, I like the line weight. It's just that it take it take it's just taking too much attention as of now. So cool. Now as you can see, this has a little bit more of a hierarchy. Now if I go ahead and add, uh, let's imagine there is actually a building here. So for example, uh, something like this, and let's add a fill to it. Uh, let's put this for example right here what we can do is we can add light analysis in terms of where the sun is coming from so we can increase this and make it bigger we can add something like this and then what we can do is we can also add ways in uh, from which we can access the actual side so for example maybe there is an entrance on this side uh, and then maybe there's another entrance from this side. So as you can see, all of these vectors or these blocks are super easy to use. And honestly, there are a lot more um, aesthetically pleasing in terms of uh, the graphics. So I can add both of these, how we can access the site. And then we can also add one of these just to showcase where the north is. So let me add this in the top right corner. And maybe what we can do is we can also add a rectangle behind it for something like uh, this. And uh, let's make this white. That way we have some contrast and, and it doesn't get blurred out with everything that we have in the background as well. So something else we can also do is, I think it would be nice if we uh, made these other lines even a bit uh, softer in terms of uh, the strength of the color so maybe even a softer or a lighter gray that way they do not get as much of an attention and, and as you can see as we do all of these it even gives an a lot more layering and brings attention even more to where the um, actual side that we are uh, analyzing is so we can even add these little small icons to indicate that there is a bus station here so we can go and make the icon style to a different color. So maybe we can make this uh, more towards a blue color. And we can also add on something like this to maybe indicate that there is 
a entrance for pedestrians on this side. Now I'm just trying to show you all of the different ways that we can use this. Uh, so now if we go here at the layers, you can see that we have also imported layers for parks and areas where uh, there are actual vegetation. So what we can do is we can go ahead and choose this and put in a texture like grass. And maybe what we can do is we can lower the opacity a bit just so it isn't as big. And then I will also increase the scale to like 60, something like this to indicate where the green areas here are. Then we can go ahead and we can select uh, the buildings. So I'm going to go here and select all of the buildings and I want to add a fill to them. So first of all, let me detach that. Let me add a fill. It will be just a uh, small one for something like this. Now there is even a bigger difference in terms of flaring and everything else, which I think uh, looks great. Now, even the minor roads, I selected them all and I'm going to make them just a little bit uh, harsher in terms of that, but maybe I soften the color here a bit. Uh, so uh, maybe something like this. And and these other paths that kind of serve as parcel dividers, uh, I think these, I'm just going to lower the opacity of them, uh, of them a bunch. And this will create even better layering. Now, one other thing that we can add here in terms of styling, as you can see, we have a bunch a vegetation block so we can choose for example these uh, let's copy them uh, we can maybe put them here let's rotate it and now we can uh, change the style of them a bit and arrange them a bit more I guess randomly so randomize them that way they do not look uh, very fake in terms of their placement so I'm just going to copy some of these around and as you can see uh, Rayon is super self-intuitive and I don't think it gets easier than this in order to create a good graphics with something as accessible as this software without needing a high-end computer. Now, one other thing, if you just want to go even a um, bigger in terms of how these look, we can select all of the paths here of the buildings and we can create a copy of them all in the same direction. So we can just right click and we can basically arrange them backward. So back of layer, uh, let's take on the stroke completely. We can leave it a solid, but we can lower the opacity. We can make this darker and we can lower the opacity if we actually wanted to make the buildings look a bit more like they are in 3D and we can make the, we can do the same thing for our building here. Uh, so let's just uh, click done here. Uh, let's move this to the front. So if you go to range, bring to the front of the layer, we can select this one and then just um, make the fill and then take off the stroke, make the fill darker and then lower the fast. So as you can see, uh, this is one of the ways that we can add, edit a simple map just with lines and we added graphics to analyze the site map, add more context, made the buildings appear a bit higher in terms of 3D and added more hierarchy. We can add patches and everything else a lot simple and faster than any other stopper out there uh, just with Rayon. And if you want to replicate the same results like this for any architectural drawings and site plans in general, go ahead and try Rayon right now in the link in the description.